Hello, my friends. Hello, and welcome back to Power Wash Simulator. We're just going to get right into cleaning the playground. I almost have enough money. I need about 20 bucks to get the next tier of Power Washer. So we'll see if we can get that pretty quickly here. One can hope. I recall this one being one of the ones that can end up be feeling a little bit tedious. But then again, this is so early in the campaign that it can't really be that bad. That must be a fabricated memory. We'll see. Oh, I thought maybe this wasn't too dirty, but it's got some sort of lichen on it. Or lichen? 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 Who knows? Actually, nobody knows. Nobody knows how that word is pronounced. So it's okay. Don't worry about it. Alright, this bench is almost done. This bench itself could have been a level. Done. Beautiful. Alright, let's do... Do I want to do the floor first? No, not really. The floor will get accidentally or incidentally cleaned as we go. A little bit. As you can see. We should be able to use this beam here. Beam? Nozzle? Just because everything's so close. Maybe it's not that great. Maybe go to green. Yeah, this is just going to be a, a nice, chill video. Let me know if you like this style of video. Just leave a comment down below and just tell me if you like these kind of chill power wash videos, even if they're shorter. Leave a like if you do. That also helps out a lot. It not only tells me that you do want to see more of this, but it helps out with other YouTube nonsense. It's a big old stegosaurus. Power wash simulator just it scratches an itch for me. It's hard to explain. Because it's such a simple concept. I think I've talked about this before, but you're basically just erasing a mess. And not really much else. And yet I want more. <laughs> this is probably my third time going back to the start and playing a lot of these levels as well. And you'd think it would get tedious or boring. But honestly, it's with, with such a gap in between each time that I've done it, it feels fresh every time. I thought about doing my playthrough of this in VR, but then I don't know if I'd want to record it in VR. And watching VR gameplay can be a little bit nauseating. It's wild whenever you watch VR footage that you record of yourself playing something. Uh, you don't notice how much you move your head when you're looking around and doing stuff and how much it's never perfectly vertical and how much it tilts. It's just crazy to get that little level of insight into something that you're not really thinking about. I don't know. If I did do something in VR, it would probably be something cockpit style where you can sit down and not have to move around too much. Something like truck simulator might be an option. And for those of you that have never played or seen Truck Simulator, it's really... It's another one of those games that's hard to explain why it's so fun. But I guess if you're watching this, maybe you get it. But it's really more about just relaxing and enjoying the scenery. It's a bit of a scenery simulator, more than anything else. And if you play it with a wheel, then it just adds to the immersion. That would be how I would play. I'd play wheel and VR headset. And then I don't know what we would do from there. That'd be something that I'd consider doing a live stream of, but I don't know if there's much interest in that. And also, doing live streams is a little bit draining. Usually it's a lot of work. I could spend that making two or three videos instead, or editing a few videos. I don't know. Last time I tried streaming, it was a struggle to get more than one or two people to actually want to come and watch. So, then again, that was probably over a year ago now, before there were many viewers, but again, most of the viewers here aren't here for anything but city skylines. As I'm sure you'll see in the view count on this video. Unless this somehow gets picked up by YouTube and pushed in front of a new Power Wash Simulator audience, which would be cool. Yeah, I don't know. Look at this cool dinosaur, though. It's so purple. I'm sure you get right in the, the pits there. Oh man, it's so dirty down here. Dirty Undertale. Remember Undertale? Maybe that's something I should play. I've never done like a full playthrough of Undertale. I don't think. 
that's very different from the usual content that I play. That's probably something that not many people would be too interested in. We'll see. I want to slowly build things up here to be more of a variety. I don't just want to play City Skylines all the time. Believe me, I do like playing it. But I like playing other games too. And I like sharing other games. I think I've talked about this already in a video. Maybe? Maybe it's not live? Maybe it is? And I don't even know. The backlog on games that isn't City Skylines gets a little bit big because I get concerned about pushing them out too quickly and not having City Skylines content there for the regular viewers. And so even though I'm playing other games, they're not coming out as frequently. It might be weeks before you see this video. Whereas with City Skylines, you're probably watching something from less than a week ago, usually. I should finish the Stegosaurus before I start doing the floors. The Stegoflorus. No, done. Stego slide complete. I knew that was going to complete, that's why I started doing the floors. Just as planned. <laughs> this is just dirt, right? I should be able to take this, this nozzle to it. Maybe not that one, maybe the green one. Just do this outside edge, because this is this little lip here. This is where I feel like I would often miss something. But if I get it now, and I'm conscious that I'm getting it now, then I don't have to really be concerned that that's one of the areas that I've missed something in the future. So I can just clean up the rest of that with a little bit of peace of mind that we're not having to go back and search for something, a little tiny blip on the edge of the map here. And again, let me know your opinion on time lapses in these videos, because I think it's a good way to just get through some more tedious aspects of this. And listen to some chill tunes, hopefully. Hopefully we've got some good music playing. I don't know. That changes too. Some royalty-free bangers. I think I'm pretty committed now to doing this floor. I'm just getting this out of the way now, and we'll deal with the other stuff later. This is going to be a big one, so maybe we'll time-lapse the whole thing, because I don't... Oh, I wasn't expecting that. I don't really know what to talk about, aside from... This is the floor. Look how colorful it is. It's actually interesting, though, because if you think about going to an actual little playground, if you can remember that from being a child... You can almost imagine what this slightly rubbery texture probably would feel like walking on it. Depends on the playground. Sometimes you had playgrounds with this rubbery... Almost like a rubber mulch. And then sometimes it was like a rubber concrete or cement. I don't remember which one's the one that has rocks in, but instead of having like normal rocks... It was like a rubbery, solid rubbery... I don't know how to explain it. But then some of the parks around just had regular wood chips <laughs> or sand sometimes you had just sand i don't know what playgrounds are made of these days maybe just wood maybe wood chips let me know what the playgrounds around you have for floors <laughs> there's a, there's an interesting topic for the comments you wouldn't want to power wash most other surfaces that aren't like this one though just send sand flying wood chips or rubber chips I don't know, the mayor's cat is missing. Thank you, Harper Shaw, for this very important text message. Appreciate you keeping me up to date. Those messages went by too fast because they were time-lapsed. Uh, go ahead and rewind and pause if you want to. Or turn it down to 0.5 speed. 0.25? Is it 0.25 that you can go down to on YouTube? Man, I don't even know. My mind goes places when we're just power washing. How slow can you watch a YouTube video? That's what I think about this whole time. 
You know what you shouldn't be doing? Don't watch videos at two times speed. I know there's some people that say that they like to watch things at 1.5 or two times. If you're doing that, the videos that you're watching, they only get half the watch time or whatever fraction it is, which in some cases for small YouTubers, that can really impact their channel's performance. For big ones, it probably doesn't matter as much. But for a small channel, if most videos are getting half the watch time, that kind of knocks down all the stats and YouTube says, oh, people don't watch this as much, even though people are watching whole videos. Such a silly system. Who cares about YouTube? If we care about YouTube so much, we'll play YouTube Channel Simulator. This is Power Wash Simulator. <laughs> YouTube Channel Simulator is basically this whole channel. Wow, I didn't realize that the floor was going to ding as a color. That caught me completely off guard. I jumped. That's wild. I guess I should have looked and seen in the top left there that it does say large red floor. Small blue floor. I don't know why, I just thought the whole floor was just one floor. Well, that makes this a little bit more manageable. This light green, or small green floor circle. Should be almost clean. Oh, what's that? Moss? That's gross. Where else have we missed something critical? N nowhere. It's done. Blue will be done soon. Just like that. Now that I know that these are all one floor, or all individual floors, I'm going to start focusing on doing piece by piece here. a roundabout, or at least that's what they call it in the game. I don't know what this is actually called. These rides are rides, I call it a ride. This little playground machine. What is that? What would you, how do you describe these? It's not a machine. A playground fixture. Maybe they are rides. I don't know. I remember playing on these as a kid and seeing how fast you can get it to go. It was barely hanging on. Very dangerous. <laughs> Probably. You get really spinning and just dangling from one of these little handlebars. Getting pulled out by the whole, by the rotation of the whole thing. The rotational forces. These rides teach you physics. It usually be a dad spinning the thing at high speed to see how fast they can get it to go. <laughs> Such a dad thing. Things like this make me nostalgic from my childhood. Going to the park was always fun. The park was right behind my house. We could hop the fence and literally be in the park. The park had a big hill, and in the winter time you could go tobogganing down the hill. It was big enough for that. Or sledding. Not sledding. What's the... I guess it was like a sled. We also had those weird plastic sheets that you would sit on. And they would slide down the snow. I forget what they were called. You can get some crazy speeds going down those hills. I think this thing's almost done. Yeah, there's a few more little crevices there that are a bit dirty. I think this whole machine is clean. I keep calling it a machine because I don't know what else to call it. I know it's not really... Is it a machine? What's the definition of a machine? Who knows? I wouldn't call it a ride. It's a machine. It's a ride. <laughs> There's probably a very, very simple term that's just uh, tucked away in the back of my mind. And as soon as somebody says it, I'll, I'll be like, oh yeah, that's what I meant. I totally knew that word. I just couldn't think of it for some reason. Playground apparatus is not the word I'm thinking of. <laughs> All the tic-tac-toe blocks. These things are a fixture of any little playground. Barely recall times that anybody legitimately sat and tried to play tic-tac-toe on that and didn't just try to see how fast they could spin the cubes. It's sad that they don't spin when hit with a pressure washer. Yeah, in this game, obviously, if we were to do this, actually, these things would be probably spinning like crazy.
Oh, I can probably buy that other little power washer now. The medium duty Urban X U2. Can I afford any of the equipment for it? We could get the turbo nozzle. I don't think I can really afford anything else, so we'll take it. And then I guess I need to equip it too, don't I? How do I? Oh, I, that's right. I know how to do it. Never mind. Sorry. My bad. My brain stopped functioning for a moment there. This one's more powerful. I can probably use the green. I can probably use the white one and get most of this cleaned. Are we leaving much behind? Not really. It's a nice wide beam, too. I feel a lot better about using the green one, though, because it just it doesn't leave behind anything. It's going to be a little bit more consistent, whereas this one here is going to leave behind moss. Although it does do a very good job of everything else. Maybe we'll just switch back and forth as it feels necessary. Nope, oh, got that that yellow one done through here. That's the mayor. Mayor Jeff Jefferson the 13th. Guess I'm on a path to finish this green floor now. So we'll just stick to it. We'll commit to the green floor. get underneath there and get to the green floor as well if we're going to finish it. How do I get in? Ah, here we go. Ooh, thunder outside in reality. Hopefully that doesn't knock out the power, because that makes converting these recordings in order to be able to use them a little bit more difficult than it needs to be. It adds work. It, it's not exactly like the hardest work in the world to fix a recording that's corrupt from a power outage, but it is enough to be a pain in the butt. It is enough to be something that you don't want to have to do. Now, where did I miss a spot on this green floor? Not under here. Oh, finished a cube. There's something there. We're on the hunt for green floor dirt now. There's a little bit. Oh, there's a ton there. That's most of it. That's all of it. Small red floor time. That's well, already pretty clean underneath here for the red floor, it looks like. We've already done a good job. We don't have any extension nozzles for this new power washer yet, so... We might have to switch back to the other one to get some of the higher spots. Unless we can afford a nozzle before we finish here. Let's see, how much are they? Or sorry, not a nozzle, extensions. 125 for the cheapest one, it looks like. Yeah, they're somewhat expensive. Okay. So I'll probably have to switch back to the other one just to get to the high locations. And those are our next priority. I'm not going to bother wasting money on soap. Thunder. More thunder. We'll see if this video ends up having to be spliced back together. And I'm always worried that if that happens, I forget that it's supposed to be two videos spliced together by the time I get around to working on it to edit it. And then you end up with a video that has no outro because it's in the other video and then the other video gets found later. And it's too short to be a full video. <laughs> I have to end up tacking it onto another video. <laughs> I don't think I've made that mistake yet, but that's because usually power goes out or a total system crash occurs within the first five to ten minutes. And then you can tell that there's something wrong with the video because it's so short. Hopefully that won't be a problem today. But if it does, this one's this recording is already long enough that I might think it's the full video. Oh well. Maybe it'll be funny if it is like that. Because you'll know why. Because it's already been explained. Power Wash Simulator is a game that's almost a little bit too relaxing. This could put me to sleep playing it. But not in a bad way. This could put you to sleep just watching it. Maybe that's a good thing. Maybe that's why you're here. 
maybe you know this is where you can go to find content that you can fall asleep to. Somebody's not going to suddenly start screaming in the middle of the video. Yeah, fancy pants shock absorbing rubber compound instead of good old fashioned creosote. Is that, the, is that the wood chips? I don't know. I don't work in playground engineering. Is that a thing? We're not going to finish this in one go. We're going to have to go down and do it from below. Or get on top of the roof, even. Oh, there's my van. Is there a ladder around? I see a step stool. I'm sure we've got a ladder on this level. I'm sure that the rest of the dirt on these little slats is going to have to be something that you get from the other side. Or from down below. But we'll get what we can from up here for now. Oh, nice. Yeah, see, I can't get that very clean from over here. Oh, wait a minute. Ourselves a little bit of height. That helps. Can I jump onto this from here, do you think? Oh, almost. Let me try that again. There we go. This should be a little bit easier. Won't fall off. I can't quite get down underneath the, these ones here at the right angle. But if we're lucky, we don't need to. We'll see. I don't know where the rest of the mess really is on this tower roof. It might be out here. Does this count as tower roof? I think it does, which then means that the other side does as well. Which is probably where the rest of the mess is. Oh, actually a lot of this counts as tower roof. Oh, nice. Just do the jump and spray. Totally legitimate cleaning method. I was hoping it would give me tower roof from just that. Oh, this might give it to me. There we go. What am I standing on there? Oh, I'm climbing up this rope ladder. Go, oh, cargo net clean. Oh, we might be able to get enough money to do... to get one of the extensions before we finish here. Or before we need it. A little bit more thunder. Power stays on, though. Very nice. What was it, 125? For the nozzle, or for the extension? It sounds like that's what it was. Let's see. Let's just go now. Yeah, there we go. The short extension. That'll do. That'd be faster if I was up there. These monkey bars are probably going to require me to get up top to clean them from above. But that's okay, we'll just- we'll do everything that we can from down here. I shouldn't be bothering with that from down here, honestly. We're gonna have to go up there anyway. I'll get the outside of this little sun. These little struts here. Anything that I can't get from inside. Mm, accidentally finished that. <laughs> I'll bet it's the top of that climbing pole. I can't get that from down here. Oh, there's a trash can over here. We may as well do that. Oh, another bench. Whoa, this one actually has color. I thought it was just a brown bench. Might be the other side of those tic-tac-toe dice that we need to get to. Oh yeah, look at this. This is where the dirt is. It's stinging so fast that the game can't even produce the sounds.
This is honestly taking a little bit longer than I thought it would. That's okay. Most of this is probably time lapse for you. Listen to chill tunes. Hopefully. We're 86% done. There's no point packing out now. If we were sitting at 50%, maybe. <laughs> but we're not, so don't worry about it. Let's head on up. We're gonna have to get out there and get on top of that roof to get it done, I think. Oh man, it still feels like there's so much more left. This one's a deceptively large level, I think. It, it doesn't feel like it's going to be that big until you get in. You know, you've done some of the things like the stega slide, and that takes no time at all. The benches, they're quick too. Even the floor felt pretty fast. Then once you get in here and you have to start cleaning this, this is a bit of a nightmare. Do we not have a ladder? Do we only have a step stool? We have a ladder. I think I can put this down over here. Yeah, there we go. Take off the extension for now. There we go. That's giving me a little bit more room. Actually, I didn't even take it off, did I? That's what I meant. I lied before when I said that felt like more room. I think it's just because I turned to the side a little bit. <laughs> oh, I missed the ladder. I thought the ladder was there. <laughs> oh no, I'm falling off the ladder. Ladders in video games, the worst thing ever. It doesn't matter how good you try to make them. It doesn't matter how much you acknowledge that ladders in video games are awful. No matter what you do to try to make it less bad, it's still bad. Appreciate the effort, it's still bad. we make it to the yellow roof? <laughs> we sure can. Now oh, we can get the top of these monkey bars now that we're up here. I'm just looking for good enough for it to complete at this point. Without having to go out and climb across them. Don't know if we're going to be able to accomplish it. We might need to put the extension on. Oh, we did it. <laughs> Fantastic. We take that off now. I want to get as much of this roof clean as I can without having to jump down and get underneath the little slats. I don't think it's possible to clean it completely without doing a little bit underneath, but we'll see. I also don't know if this has been cleaned from the inside yet. We have a quick and easy way to get back up. And there's a lot of stuff down here that needs to be cleaned anyway. Oh yeah, look at that. We're in the home stretch now, 98%. Just gotta keep pushing through. That's dirty on the other side, I think. <laughs> oh yeah, big time. I'm just waiting for the notice of which pieces are last. They're left in this 1%. Oh, I can see them pretty easily, actually. I don't even need it. Oh, we missed some of these handlebars. Look at that. Oh. Didn't even see these bins and trash cans over here. Bins and benches is what I meant. Bins and trash cans are the same thing. <laughs> oh, that one's obvious. <laughs> that's a big messy. See some underside that's not cleaned yet. Go around for that one. Oh, it's dirty on the front, too. Nope. I see something over here. Wait, where'd it go? Oh, it's up here. These cracks are dirty. There we go. Oh, it looks like I'm gonna have to get up on the tower roof to finish it. Oh, I might be able to do it from here. There we go. So what's left? Oh, I see a little bit there. 
Let's get underneath. Maybe it's something from below. You get off, please? There we go. I could just open up my tablet and go check, but I'm lazy. There's one there. Alright. A little bit more done there. This all looks about as clean as you can hope. I think we might be headed to the tablet to find out where these last few bits are. Because I don't see anything flashing. Oh, never mind. That one's obvious. And there's a little bit there. Ah, there we go. Lower bridge slats. Tower lower walls. Tower lower walls. Oh, this one. Oh yes, look at it. It's probably from this side. Oh yeah, look at that. Tower trims, which is these little red things. No, it's not. It's... I actually don't know what a tower trims is. And large bridge slats. Where's the bridge? Is it this one? No, it's small bridge floor, large bridge floor. No, it's probably one of these. Yeah, this one. Where? Tiny little speck there. Tower trims. What is a tower trim? Tower trims. Oh, it's these bottom pieces. Okay, so it's one of these. There it is. It's this one. I bet it's in the crack on this side, maybe? Well, we'll just give it a good spray and we'll finish it off. Fantastic. Let's go to the time lapse. And if you've enjoyed this, please hit that like button, the thumbs up button below the video. It actually does help out a lot and I really do appreciate it. And leave a comment. Let me know if you want to see more of this. And of course, if you're new here, don't forget you can subscribe and turn on the bell for notifications. Thank you so much for joining me and hanging out with me during this. This took a little bit longer than I thought it would. Future levels might be split into two videos, just because they'll be so long. We'll see. But for now, thank you so much for joining me and hanging out with me. And I hope to see you again next time. Goodbye for now.